Hi everyone, it's Hello. Jeff and Sarah back again. Uh, this time we are at the lovely Hain House. It's in a place called Saltwood in Kent. We're gonna put the map up in, in a second. That should be up there now for you to see where we are. Uh, it's set in 35 acres of beautiful landscape gardens. Um, it's very pretty. It's really pretty, yeah, as, as you will see later on in the video. Family run business, you get exclusive use and they are really big on sustainability uh, and very eco-friendly so it's a fabulous place we're going to start the tour uh, where are we can start the tour Sarah we're just outside the car park now so there's an actual nice little woodland walk for you and your guests to walk down to arrive so we're going to start at the top of the woodland walk so let's get started guys Hi everyone, so here we are um, at Hain House and we're just at the entrance to the Woodland Walk which is how you get from the car park which is just behind Jeff into your venue. So it's a really pretty way for your guests to arrive and be welcome to, your, to the venue itself. So if you wander this way and we'll get into our little tour today. So you see as you walk along here you've got festoon lights all of the way so it gives that extra little sparkle um, so yeah that's really really nice touch so when we get to the end of this path your guests would carry on straight down to the venue but we're actually just going to take a little left turn here through the gate and this is the new pamper room and this is where you as a bride and your bridesmaids will come in the morning and spend your morning getting ready so i'll let jeff go first and then as we come into here you'll see what a really nice space this is for you and your bridesmaids to spend um, the morning getting ready. You've got sofas um, so people can sit and chill out. You've got nice big um, open doors that we just came through. So, you know, we always say in a getting ready room, it's really important to have that natural light. So you've got this big flood of natural light coming in through the door. There's also windows on each side. Got a little room just for the bride um, where she can actually put her dress on um, you can hang your dress, hang your shoes, and what we really love as photographers when there's a separate little room like this is that all the bags, the clutter can be tucked away in that room so when you're having your photographs back in this main room there isn't shopping bags and Sainsbury's bags and other um, supermarkets are available in corners and making your pictures look a little bit untidy so yeah it's a really nice space you've got your salon style chairs there um, plenty of space for your hair and makeup um, ladies to lay all of their equipment out and also just just showing you um, got bathroom in there too a little toilet area and another really nice touch actually um, that the venue have the venue have um, these bags available so your bridesmaids and you as the bride can put all of your bits and pieces in there and then during the um, wedding ceremony during the day and the events of the day the venue staff can then take your bags up into the rooms that you're staying in for the night so you don't have to worry about coming and changing your gear from one room to another so that's a really nice touch that the venue will do for you so yeah a really nice little little spot in here so imagine now you're all ceremony ready and um, time to go um, down to actually get married. Um, and actually this is a nice little spot where you and your bridesmaids could get some last minute photographs um, before you go down to your ceremony, just while everyone's waiting for you. So we'll head this way and then now we can get really get into the nitty and gritty of the venue. Um, see, see all the key elements that you need to know. So as you come down here and the venue opens up in front of you, this is what all your guests are going to see when they arrive. You've got the former hunting lodge here, which is where your overnight accommodation will be. Um, I believe there's six bedrooms there, including your bridal suite. Obviously, you've seen the amazing orangery behind me. We'll get into that in just a bit. And as um, you kind of come round here, your gardens um, span out in front of you. You just probably see over the top of the hedge um, is the top of the gazebo where you can have your outside ceremony and um, we'll come to that a little bit later so make sure you stay tuned for, and watch for that but like I say imagine you've just come out of your bridal getting ready room you would actually enter through the house and go through the house and come in through the back of the ceremony area but we're going to come now the way your guests would come as they were arriving to take their seats so follow me through this way you see the orangery opens up in front of you it's beautifully light and airy so this is the way your guests would come and take their seats i'm just gonna let jeff go ahead of me so you get the best of it 
and you can see it's a beautiful ceremony area. It can be an area for up to 120 guests, um, but you can see today it's laid out for a smaller ceremony. So it suits both small and um, big numbers. You're not going to rattle around if you're small, um, but if you're big, it has the space to, to take that. So a little bit about the orangery. It was a purpose-built building for weddings, so it's deliberately been kind of sectioned into to two for your ceremony and your sit-down meal, but it can be opened up in the evening. And there's underfloor heating, which is a nice touch on a chilly winter wedding. Um, but equally in the winter, um, sorry, in the summer, all of the doors can open up. So you can have that kind of outside in feeling, which we'll see more of when we go through to um, the side where you have your um, wedding breakfast. But yeah, you can see what a lovely, bright and airy space it is. Um, just love the sky lanterns. Uh, they let the um, light flood in, um, creating that really bright feel. Um, so yeah, it really is a pretty spot for um, your wedding ceremony. So this door behind me is where you would enter as the bride. Um, obviously you can see the way um, the ceremony is all laid out. You've got a lovely beautiful aisle to walk down. Then after you've said your vows and you're happily married, um, you'd obviously walk back down the aisle. Um, and then you'd exit um, your ceremony through the doors here. This, obviously, this table and chairs wouldn't be here on your actual wedding day. Um, and you'd exit through these doors, be given a glass of bubbles. Then all your guests can actually enter out of the door that we came through just now. So you get a couple of minutes just before they exit, just to have a, that little moment between the two of you. Um, so we'll pop back outside now, um, just to briefly talk about um, where your reception drinks would be. So coming back outside your venue for your reception drinks, um, obviously you kind of got a hint of the grounds when we first walked down. Um, so you've got plenty of, of grounds to have your reception drinks if it's a nice sunny day. Fear not if the weather is, is bad. Um, Jeff is actually just standing underneath. I'm just going to wander this way a little bit. So you're going to lose me for a second. <laughs> This covered area, so that if the weather is bad, you've got somewhere to come and be covered. Just wire the venue staff, whip out the chairs um, so before you can go back into the orangery for your reception drinks on a bad weather day. Um, they're very skilled at it and do it very, very quickly. So you'll only be out here for a matter of moments for people to give you a hug and congratulate you before you're back inside. But obviously, should the weather be nice, you've got all the beautiful grounds um, to use, which we're going to have a little bit of a wander around um, later. Um, so much choice of where to show you next. Um, so yeah, I think we'll have a little bit of a wander down and show you the outside ceremony area. So we'll have a little wander now to the outside ceremony area, just so you can see what your options are, depending on if you want outside or inside. Um, so yeah, you can see that this beautiful path um, winds its way up through the garden. So it's a really nice little way to wander to your, um, your ceremony. Key as well is that it's hard standing, so you haven't got to worry about wobbling in the grass. Um, and it's a nice walk that actually everyone gets like a nice look at you as you kind of bring your way up here. And you can see the brand new um, gazebo, it's only um, a year or so old, so this is all fresh and lovely. And you can imagine um, that your chairs would be coming out either side of the aisle. And you've got a really nice walkway to come up to the gazebo. And it's really nice and spacious as well. You've got plenty of, of room in there, um, plenty of room out here as well for all your tables and all your, all your chairs, not tables and chairs, all your chairs. <laughs> so in the gazebo now, you can see how large and spacious it is, room for your registrar's table, um, two chairs for you to do the sign your register, but still plenty of room for a photographer, videographer um, to move around. Um, and actually while you're in here and when you turn around and look back towards your guests, you'll see you've got a really lovely view um, of the, the, the old hunting lodge um, and back towards the gazebo and the grounds falling away in front of you. So as we walk back down the aisle, you'll, you'll really appreciate actually the view of the gazebo. Um, I'll let Jeff go ahead of me. Um, so you haven't got me in the way. <laughs> and you can really see that view. See the, um, the orangery open up in front of you. Yeah, and you appreciate actually how lovely the gardens and grounds are. So now you've seen both the inside and outside um, ceremony area options. Um, that is of course if you're having a um, legal um, ceremony, a civil ceremony. But if you're having a celebrant-led um, 
ceremony or more like a vow renewal. Um, you can actually choose any area in the garden, um, but the, the most people are having um, a civil ceremony, so it'll be in either the indoor and outside spots. So I wanted to have a wander up here so you can appreciate the rest of the gardens. Imagine you're on your drinks reception now. It's time for you to have photographs, time for all your guests to just mingle and enjoy. So here you've got some lovely gardens that are really pretty for the two of you to go off on your own and have some photographs. Have a wander up through here. And again, you can see, I'm gonna let Jeff go ahead of me. <laughs> it's only April, so things are only just starting to come into bloom, but it's really pretty. Right now you've got clematis, I believe. I'm no horticulturalist, but I believe that's clematis over the top of this arch, which again, really pretty spot for your photographs. Leading all the way up here to a nice little sweetheart bench. Um, again, really pretty spot for the two of you to have photographs, um, just the two of you. And it's a nice shooting spot down here, using this path as a, a lead in, using technical photographer terms for you there as well. And then just past here, it opens up into a nice area of greenery, where again, you can kind of get away from your guests a little tiny bit, have a little more little, little secluded spot for photographs. Blossom out in the tree there, so it'll look pretty when that's all in bloom. So here we are back outside the orangery. Imagine you've had your drinks reception, all your photos are, are done. It's time for you to eat. Um, so here we are ready to go back inside the orangery for your wedding breakfast. Uh, follow me. Imagine all in the summer, all these doors can be open to really get that inside out feel like I mentioned before. So as you come in here, you'll see that it's, it's laid out with a top table, round, lots of round tables. Um, actually, these um, centrepieces are really beautiful. They're from our friends at Chic Weddings and Events, and we highly recommend that, them for flowers. So we'll pop a link um, to them in the description below. Actually, while we're talking about this, um, the description below and hoping you're enjoying this video, um, so give us a like if you are. Um, if you're really enjoying it and want to see more, give us a follow, and that would really help us out. Um, but yeah, back to Hain House, you can see um, just yeah, what a lovely space this is. There's plenty of space in between the tables. It's nice and light and airy, a really beautiful place for you to have your wedding breakfast and enjoy eating with your guests. So as you can see, you've got lots of space in here and the space is really um, versatile. Um, we've actually seen um, it laid out a couple of ways for um, your sit down meal. You could have your top table along here. Um, giving you the um, backdrop of the wall um, for your speeches so you could put a flower wall or um, blossom trees or there's lots of different options of how you can have it laid out so it's very very versatile space which is really great. So now imagine you've, you've had your dinner, um, you've enjoyed your speeches and fast forward to your evening party and the whole space has been transformed for you. So if we come back around the table and just by magic while I've been talking the doors have opened way, the ceremony chairs are gone, and this whole area is now a through um, space, so you can have your dance floor and your DJ um, down where you had your ceremony um, initially, earlier on in the day, and then you've still got your tables and chairs. So you don't have to wait for the room to be turned round, you've got this whole space. You've got the bar behind me, um, so your bar is right next to your dance floor, um, but there's the area further up where you had your wedding breakfast for people to go and take the weight off their feet before coming back to the dance floor. So yeah, as I've said, like the whole space is just really versatile um, and really great space for your evening party. So now we've seen um, most of the venue, um, checked out the drinks bar. Um, now's probably a really good time to have a chat to um, Helen from Hain House so you can tell us a little bit more. So here we are now with um, Helen from um, Hain House. Um, she's the wedding coordinator. Um, so Helen, we've had a look around. It's a really beautiful spot. Thank um, you. The orangery is just really versatile. Can you tell us a bit more about that? It is, yeah. It was sort of built to make sure that the day flows really nicely. So what's really important is that your you know, guests and things like that don't feel like they're herded around and things like that. And the use of the doors from the ceremony area um, and then the sort of reveal of the dining side and then after dinner the reveal of now the sort of evening reception side, it's really great. 
Um, and I don't know how the light's been treating you today, but just the natural light that comes in here all day. So on a glorious day like today, it's really lovely. Um, but even on darker days, you've got that natural light yeah. all day. So we'll hopefully you agree, really it's a photographer's dream. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we... Yeah, when we first came in here, we said about how light and airy it yeah. is. And you've really got that nice feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's nice and you sort of feel that inside out, we like to say. Yeah, so, no, um, definitely yeah. has that, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you guys, we mentioned when we first got here that you guys are doing a lot um, of eco-friendly stuff and about we sustainability. Are. Yeah. Absolutely. So when the orange tree was built in 2018, it was built sustainably. So it's all made from um, timber or sort of, you know, special glass or that sort of thing. I won't bore you too much. Um, but we're really hot on that. And we've actually just joined the UN Race to Zero. So we have pledged to be carbon neutral by Fantastic. 2035, but we're hoping to get there by 2030. We will definitely have halved our emissions by 2024. So there's tons of stuff going on at the moment to do that. So we're really getting stuck in and we love all of that and passing it on to our couples, encouraging our couples to make greener choices that don't impact their day. It's so easy to do and we try and help them do that. That's so um, good. Yeah. So, so no um, plastic straws here then? <laughs> no plastic straws here, the paper only if you ask. <laughs> Brilliant. And finally, before we finish, um, can you tell us your favourite spot of the venue? <gasps> my favourite spot? Put you on the spot. <laughs> mm, I, I have to go with two. So in the day, it's definitely up the sort of path in the gardens because I love it there. I think when the bride and groom have portrait photos there, it feels a little bit hidden away, but you're still in the ground, you don't feel far away from everyone. So that's really nice in the day. And at night, it's got to be the Woodland Walk, because yeah. I am a big fan of like lovely, you know, twilight lit, festoon, you know, and all the festoons yeah, yeah. are on. And it's really private, you know, later in the day, the couple have relaxed a little bit more. You really get those really intimate, lovely pictures there. Um, so that's definitely, yeah. those two don't make me choose. That's a great spot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been really great hearing from you. Thank that's you for great. that information. Thank you so much. Um, as always, everybody, if you've got any more questions, please do pop them in the comments or obviously get in touch with um, Helen and the Hain House team and they'll yep. be more than happy to answer. Thank you so much, much Sarah. Thank you. So now we've heard from Helen, which I think was really great to hear about the sustainability side um, of the venue. Um, it's come something quite special and very um, relevant nowadays, so it's great to hear that. We've also seen how amazing the dance floor space is. So we're just going to show you one final thing now before we wrap up. And, and this is where your accommodation is. So there's six bedrooms and the bridal suite is the most important one. So we're going to pop inside and show you that. So this is the former hunting lodge. We'll just come along here and you'll see the way in. And there's also a really nice lounge area that you can use in here, fireplaces um, for the winter. Um, so yeah, we'll head in here and show you the bridal suite. So just coming into um, the house area, you'll see you've got a beautiful staircase here, which is um, nice for photographs of you as a couple, somewhere a little bit quieter as well. Um, coming through here into the lounge area, and again, you'll see that this is a really, really nice space where you can kind of have a little bit of a quiet moment. If the weather isn't great and you haven't been able to use the gardens as much as you would like on a winter wedding, this could be a really nice spot for a few um, photos of you as a couple as well. Um, got a nice fireplace in here, it's nice and cosy and warm. But it, again, it's just, you know, you've got options. Um, and also when you're staying here, it's a nice place um, for you to come and spend a bit of time. So as a former hunting lodge, I just love the little details in here. So you've got a little hare on the books, a um, warthog, a deer in the window. So it's kind of like echoing back to the past of um, what the place was used for. So yeah, it's a really nice little touch. And so finally now we'll head upstairs and show you the bridal suite, which is a really beautiful room. Got a lovely, lovely ensuite bathroom. Um, so yeah, you'll see in a second, it's a really lovely place for you spend your wedding night. Lovely big bed. I say it's a really, really lovely room. It's got views on each side out of the out of the house. And like I say Jeff will in the second will give you a bit of a glimpse of um, the bathroom as well, which is a a lovely nice area as well. So one thing you can't appreciate on video about this room is actually it smells really, really good, which is always nice when you come into a room and it smells good. So we're just going to show you the ensuite, which is a pretty special ensuite as ensuites go. Come on in here, check out this bath. So big you need your own marble step to get up into it. It's 
So here in the Bridal Suite brings us to the end of our tour today. I um, hope you've enjoyed um, our tour of the lovely Hain House um, and seeing all the little elements that it's got um, from the orangery to its beautiful gardens. As always, we ask you if you liked it, um, please like the video. Um, and if you want to see more, I mentioned earlier, please do subscribe and ring the bell as well so that next time we post a video, you'll be notified that we post and you can kind of see our next um, wedding venue tour. So we'll look forward to seeing you again on our next one. Thanks very much and bye.